one of the first things most women do after peeing on that stick and seeing those two lines or that little pregnant word in the window is go and look up a pregnancy calculator on their phone or computer um, to figure out when your, your estimated due date will be. And I often get asked, you know, how accurate are, are these calculators? And, you know, they're, they get close. They usually get close to the day that you actually end up delivering. But how they work is on the pregnancy calculator, you input the, the first day of the last period that you had before taking that positive pregnancy test. So your due date isn't calculated from the day you think that you, know, you ovulated or the embryo implanted. It's based off of the first day of your last period. The reason why it can be so inaccurate is because women have different cycle lengths. You know, I know some women, their cycle is 21 days long, some women 28. Uh, you know, for example, the last like six months before I conceived my daughter, the first three months, my cycle was 28 days long, and then all of a sudden it shifted to 34 days. So it can be all over the place. And some women, every month it's different. You know, they don't have like a set number of, of days for, for each cycle. So this can make a pregnancy calculator somewhat inaccurate. And I'm not talking like weeks and weeks and weeks inaccurate, but just like a couple of days here and there, which is, you know, why people call it an estimated due date a lot. Where things can get more specific is when you start having those ultrasounds and you know your care provider can analyze you know the development of, of the fetus and start to get a more accurate view of, of how far along you actually are you know for example when I got I think maybe my second ultrasound the doctor said you know I think that you know, your due date is off by about four days or so. So they adjusted it. My daughter ended up coming a week early. So there you go. And that brings me to another point. You know, once you get that due date, don't view it as like this set day. Like, like this is the day that my child will be born. Only about 4% of babies are actually born on their due date. So Say for example, like I'll give myself as an example, my daughter's due date was uh, November 11th, 11, 11. But instead of like fixating on that day, I just thought, all right, my daughter will come in like early to mid November. That's like when I can expect her. Of course, I still told people the date 1111 because I thought it was a cool number. Um, but you know, in my mind, I kept reminding myself every time I said that number that okay, it does not mean that she's actually coming on that day. And this can be really important because if you go past your due date, it can be really easy to start getting really disappointed. You know, like when that due date arrives, you start like, or me with my son, I started obsessively like, analyzing my body for any signs of of labor and then the day after I started to get really anxious you know like thinking what if he never comes out which is ridiculous but that is kind of a common sentiment for women that go past their due date they start to panic and luckily there is no need to panic your baby will come when they're meant to and yes i do understand that some care providers start pushing for induction or even c-section in some cases depending on how long past your due date you go so it's always good to have a conversation maybe in the second trimester with your care provider about a plan for if you go past your due date for example saying like if i go more than a week past you know instead of being induced if i'm you know healthy can i go in for a non-stress test you know every day or every other day to make sure that me and the baby are healthy and this is essentially then just like checking your vitals, checking the baby, making sure that everything is good with you guys. Um, so I do understand that that can be part of the stress of going past your due date, but more often than not, most babies come 
within like a seven to 10 day period from that due date, some a little bit longer, and that can also be totally normal. If you have any questions about this, anything else about pregnancy, childbirth, early motherhood, let me know in the comments. Thank you.